So what you can do is, let's watch here. I'm gonna buy a specific product. And one unit at, let's call it um, 250. Confirm. We're gonna receive these products. And it'll tell me I need to give a serial number, right? So with this, I'll click here and I'll give it a serial number. We'll call it 0101 and confirm. Validate, bring it into stock. Now I'm going to ship, sell this product. So I need to first select a package type. And now I'm gonna deliver this. So before you deliver it, what you do in this example is you probably wanna work with a second tab open here. So, oops. So I would go into inventory, reporting product moves. I have a favorite for just deliveries. And then I could actually group by the, or I could type in the customer. So I could say, um, John Doe will be the partner. It'll show me all deliveries by John Doe. You'll see, I um, and I can see the serial number here. So what you do is you look up John Doe and this will already organize by date. So 9-6, uh, you know, 2019 at this time, I can organize up and downstream by date. So this will show you the last um, product and serial number here. And if I wanna just search for the acid product, just filter out all deliveries of that product to John Doe and categorize them by date for me. So you can check here, and then if you can go, you go to your stock and we actually look at the delivery and we'd select which serial number we wanna pull from. And right now we have two available serial numbers to ship to this customer if we want, right? One from the zero one we just brought in or from this lot here. So uh, your team would be able to manually check that here. They can see 999, and that's what I'll end up shipping out of. Invalidate and apply and it would ship it. So that's the out of the box solution. They would check, um, right? They'd go again into inventory, reporting uh, product moves and run your filter for deliveries, which we already have here. And you'll see at the top of the list now is the warehouse out number six with that serial number 999 where we just shipped one unit. And you'll see we did that at 1.20 p.m. and it's 1.21 p.m. Uh, right here on the 8th. So everything's gonna organize here, right? And if I wanna search, I can certainly filter by John Doe or by Bob Jones, and I'll see there's the one uh, for Bob that we just shipped here. If I go and if I um, sell something else to Bob Jones, uh, we'll do one, uh, Five pound drum, deliver, and here I will see. I'll just go through this report. I'll see I have warehouse out number seven created, but not yet done. So if I filter Bob, there it is, it's in red. And you can always say, just show me what's to do or show me what's done only. You can add that to your report so I can see everything that's done. The last one we shipped was this. Um, but what, and it's going to call for that again automatically, but if I change it to that, then it will update on that report automatically. You'll see it now re references this one that we, we called on that lot serial number to ship instead of the 999 and you'll see it's marked as done there. And you'll see it's at the top of the list. It's at the top of the list for all of my deliveries. So again, you can always group by, if you want, partner and say group and show me. And then I could even group by uh, lot serial. So I can see all the shipments we give to John, uh, Bob Jones and how many times and when we gave from a specific lot. And you can see everything listed all here and I can say, just show me what's been done. So. That is how that report would work. Your team would be able to utilize that to determine which 
uh, serial number they should pick from to deliver to a specific customer. I uh, hope that video is helpful. If you have any additional questions, let me know.